Hey there, it's Brian Horning, CEO of Exact IT Solutions and Cybersecurity. Welcome to another video, welcome to the channel. And today we're gonna talk about CMMC compliance and what it means to your business. If you don't know, I am a CMMC certified professional, otherwise known as a CCP. So I'm here to provide you with an update on what CMMC could potentially mean for your business if you're a business who deals with the DOD or has DOD contracts or a business that is interested in working with the DOD and you now know that you need to comply with CMMC. So this video is for those of you who are not really familiar with CMMC. I'll be breaking down CMMC, what it is, the latest updates, because there's been a lot of them over the years and over the recent months and what you need to do to stay compliant and how you can get help understanding what it takes to be compliant. This is gonna be a fairly quick video, so even if you're not a defense contractor and you're just a regular business owner who stumbled upon this video, first hit that like button uh, to show people that this is a worthwhile video and don't, if you're so inclined, don't forget to subscribe to, subscribe to our channel. Can't talk today. So why I feel like other business owners or people who run businesses want to pay attention to this, who are, might be outside of the realm of CMMC or doing business with the Department of Defense, is I believe that this CMMC is the framework for what the U.S. government will use across all federal contracts for anyone doing business with the government. So I think it's going to start here. I think it's going to spread across to other areas of areas of the federal government. And before long, we're going to see uh, kind of a maturation of businesses starting to adopt this NIST cybersecurity framework in their businesses. And this is one of the strategies our federal government is using to make sure that not only public entities like the Department of Defense, but private businesses, the ones who support the Department of Defense and the federal government, and even private businesses who might be two or three layers away from those companies are gonna feel the impacts of these regulations and these rules that are coming about. So without further ado, let's start talking about what is CMMC and how it can impact you and your business, especially if you have DOD contracts. So as I mentioned, as a defense contractor or somebody interested in DOD contracts, Understanding CMMC 2.0 is critical to avoid missing out on value, valuable government contracts. You can be disqualified or you can not qualify to even bid on these contracts if you don't achieve compliance by a certain time frame. But not only on the front side could it disqualify you from contracts, if you are in contracts and you're found out to be violating the the NIST framework or the rules of CMMC, you could potentially held liable for that through costly penalties and fines. So stick around to the end of the video because if you want deeper information about CMMC, I'll tell you how you can join our in-depth masterclass on CMMC to go even deeper into this topic and make sure that your business is ready to pass an audit, a CMMC assessment with flying colors. So let's start with the basics here. What is CMMC? CMMC stands for Cyber Security Maturity Model Certification. And it's the Department of Defense's way of ensuring that companies have cybersecurity standards in place to protect sensitive data. It's not just about meeting basic requirements. CMMC 2.0 is all about improving the overall maturity of your cybersecurity practices in your business over time. It's not a point in time assessment of where you stand as it is. It's a process that you will go through as a business to mature your cybersecurity practices over time. Because two things are true. We know that businesses are not keeping up with these changes and the, and the threats that they face. And things are always changing with cybersecurity. So what you're doing today or what you did six months ago 
may not be relevant or may not be as effective as it was when you first started doing it. So staying on top of this information, knowing what's changing, and knowing how to handle those changes are the key components of what's behind the NIST framework and what CMMC requires defense contractors to do. Now the latest version of CMMC, which is known as 2.0, and 2.1 is on its way, but I'm gonna focus on 2.0 here for this video. Uh, and that has brought on some significant changes within the CMMC program. The, the program is always changing in little minor ways along the way, but the biggest change or the biggest update that simplifies the CMMC program takes it down from five to three levels. This means that instead of having to worry about whether you fall within five different categories, you only have to know what one of three categories that you fall under, and this is all dependent on the sensitivity of the data that your company handles for the DOD. And the most important point that I find in this realignment of the CMMC levels is that self-assessments are now allowed for all of level one and parts of level two, making it easier for small and medium-sized defense contractors who only handle things like FCI or federal contract information, it makes it easier for them to comply without a huge financial burden of a full assessment. But just because it's easier doesn't mean it's simple. If you wanna know exactly where your business stands with CMMC and your compliance with the NIST 800 controls that you need to follow for level one, you should have a professional assessment done by an independent third party organization. Now, as someone who works with businesses aiming for CMMC compliance, I can tell you that the most common challenges that companies face include things like proper documentation, managing evidence collection, and implementing the right tools so they have this information when they need it. Having these things on the ready when available with the right tools is not only crucial to not only meeting the requirements, but also to be ready for a DOD audit or assessment at any moment. That's where working with a certified consultant comes in, someone who knows the standards and the latest requirements inside and out, and can also direct you to the right tools to use so you collect the right evidence and properly store it and document it for future use in an assessment or audit. So as I mentioned, as a CMMC professional, I bring a deep understanding of the DOD standards. So you can rest assured that I know what auditors are looking for and how to prepare your company effectively and efficiently for what you're going to have to deal with when it comes to answering your NIST 800-171 compliance and complying with the CMMC. So when you're ready to make sure that your business is compliant with CMMC, working with a certified consultant can save you time, money, and a lot of headaches down the line. We've seen a lot of companies try to go about this themselves, or hire the proverbial you know, cousin, nephew, brother, whatever, uh, and they try to learn this stuff on, their uh, on the company's dime. And unfortunately, businesses have to understand they don't really have the time if they wanna meet the timelines that are laid out in the final rule for when these requirements are actually gonna appear in your contracts you really don't have the time to learn what's needed to be learned to do this stuff. Uh, if you didn't start, in my opinion, 12 to 18 months ago, really understanding CMMC and the NIST cybersecurity framework, which I've been doing the NIST cybersecurity framework for well over uh, a decade now. Uh, so I, had a, I have a complete understanding of this framework, how to implement the right tools to achieve compliance with the framework, so you need to work with a consultant who knows this stuff. Otherwise, it's gonna cost you a lot of time. It's gonna cost you a lot of money and you're 
probably going to end up in a situation where you don't pass an assessment because the person just didn't have the knowledge. It's not like they were leading you down a path knowingly. It's just this stuff is complex. It's deep and you have to have a deep knowledge of how the cybersecurity tools work and, and, and correlate to the controls within the NIST cybersecurity framework. So if this video has piqued your interest and you want to dig deeper into everything or anything CMMC, I invite you to join our CMMC Masterclass where we'll be covering everything that you need to know to get your business prepared from documentation tips to what uh, to expect during an assessment. I walk you through what it looks like to go through an actual assessment in your business, who the players are involved, what you can expect to pay, what you can expect to have requested from you. There's a lot of things that we cover in this 45 minute plus masterclass that you're gonna learn exactly what an assessment is gonna look like for you. And this is really beneficial for not only level one, level two, and level th three, but if you have to go through an assessment at level two or three, this is super beneficial for you as well. So join the masterclass, get that roadmap, that clear roadmap to becoming CMMC compliant after you attend the webinar. You'll have a better picture of what it's gonna look like, and we're also gonna give you some resources available to help you with your assessment process. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more cybersecurity and compliance insights. If you have any questions or want to learn more, drop a comment below. Somebody from my team will reach out or there's links down below in the description to book a call with my team. You can do that as well. We invite you to do so. Appreciate the support. We'll see everyone in the next video. Take care and good luck on your CMMC journey if you're a CMMC uh, viewer.